A YouTuber star who claimed her vegan lifestyle cure her breast cancer has died from the disease. Her niece confirmed. Mari Lopez told followers of her channel, Don't you come on. Let me close this. What the heck going on here? No, 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 no. This damn thing be doing what it want to do, I swear. Y'all know I can't work this phone either. Hold on. I hate this damn phone, y'all. What the heck? It took me all out of what I was in. All right, here we go. Oh, God. Mari Lopez told Follows Her Channel, which she ran with niece Liz Johnson, that banning animal products from her diet cured her cancer in just three months. She also claimed the lifestyle has stopped her from being a lesbian. The, the vegetarian, the vegan lifestyle has stopped her from being a lesbian lesbian telling viewers i was healed by god in faith and used to live a gay lifestyle but miss johnson revealed in a video earlier this week that her aunt succumbed to the to the disease in december claiming it was because she did not continue with her juicing raw vegan diet she said, my aunt passed away in December because of her cancer came back. She was inconsistent in her diet and spiritual life. My aunt didn't continue juicing or her raw vegan diet when she got diagnosed again. She chose to do radiation and chemo. Ms. Johnson revealed that as her aunt became increasingly ill, she asked that her video be removed from YouTube, but her niece refused my mom would buy her burgers and things like that and she didn't want to eat that but after a while she was okay with it when you give too many times you end up saying whatever I feel like that's what causes the issue people have sent me many emails about positive changes after juicing and some have told me that they chose to do chemo some are still alive, and unfortunately, some are not. We never claimed that this would 100% work for everyone. Ms. Johnson says she will continue uploading videos on the benefits of juicing in the future. She also says she would be adding disclaimer to her aunt's old videos informing viewers of her death. So, y'all, listen. I don't want to be on here, you know, like telling nobody what to do or nothing because to each his own. Because I, I've met uh, people um, that were vegan and did just what she did. And they had um, raw diets of ex just extremely fruit. You know, regular fruit, exotic fruits, this and that. But they told me that they were taking some type of supplement, I believe, for the meat. I want to say I'm not for sure it's been so long, but I know they were taking supplements, and I still don't really think this taking supplements will work, but they was all telling me that just eat pure fruit, that they felt the best that they had ever uh, ever felt in their life from just going straight vegan. But I never went vegan because this is my thing, you know, <laughs> God designed all the people and all the animals. And all of them, everybody, that's that's a form of the human being life or breathe the walk of life. Everybody has a certain diet that they're supposed to follow. You know, like the chickens eat grains, you know, and, you know, we eat what well, we eat or whatever. Even But if you get biblical with it, we're not supposed to be eating nothing with a um, splendid hoof. We supposed to be eating stuff with a round hoof. I guess you know that would include like the the sheep, you know, the lamb, the goats, and the horses. And we're not supposed to be eating the pork because that's the swine, the swine land animal. And that got to do with a lot of sins. Listen, 
But um, I've known you know people that that said they felt good for it. Now I can't say I have never tried to do this, but I have you know went like three days or a week. I think like a week and a half to two at the most. But I had a purpose then. But I did do it of just eating um fruit. I can tell, and I had big cantaloupes. I had big grapefruits. I had melons. I had honeydews. I had all kind of fruit, grapes, everything. Cause I was, like I said, I was dealing with doing some third eye cleansing and some chakra cleansing because I had assignment that I I postponed or whatever. But I can tell you, even in the midst of eating all of these fruits, I still was hungry. I still was hungry. But some people said that they said that they wasn't. You know, fruits are good to eat like that too, like in a whole abundance, like if you're cleaning yourself out, you know, if you're doing a, a detox and stuff, you know. But like I said, two or three days or something like that. And some, some also in conjunction with it do like a lemonade master cleanse. But see... All of that stuff at one time can can be harsh or whatever. Let me see uh, if I can find anything about what humans are supposed to have. You know, she she was a YouTuber and she had followers, and they they were following her, and she let herself. To her death and could have led some of them to their death you supposed to have a certain amount of meat a certain amount of protein a certain amount of fruit a certain amount of breads a certain amount of, of carbohydrates you know because these foods play a role in your vitality so, that's just like I said, somebody owning a lion in Dubai. If he, let's say Harry owned a lion, and Harry uh is, is supposed to, you know, buy the lion a thousand dollars worth of meat a day, whatever pounds that add up to. And Harry bring it home the thousand dollar meat because this is what it takes. This is a certain diet or, you know, certain amount he's supposed to have a day and Harry bringing in the thousand dollars of meat. But after a while, what let's say he start cutting back to nine fifty, nine seventy five, eight fifty. That lion, you think he gonna say, Oh, that's Harry, I'll I'll let Harry slide. Harry, I I'm, I'm I'm can you afford a little bit more tonight, Harry? I I'm really try I'm really I I really can't make it. I I really need my maximum or, or, you know, I need my diet. I, I have to have a certain amount. Do you think he going to say, well, you think Harry going to tell the lion, can you wait till next Friday? I'll try my best, uh, Mr. Lion said. I can't eat Harry. Oh, Harry's starting to look good. You think he going to cut Harry a deal? No, he going to be over there eating Harry ass, Mr. Harry. He going to be making up for it. And, and that's the same thing with humans. But like I said, I never argued with, with anybody when they tell me they diet that they own and we talking I'm just getting some insight because I know I personally am supposed to have what my body is designed to have you know I can't I can't eat a fish meal I can't eat you know a shark meal or, but they can eat me as a meal but I'm supposed I'm supposed to everybody's supposed to have what they supposed to have. So I never argue with anybody, you know, when they tell me, because I always just ask the question like, well, don't you miss me? Or, or you don't find yourself getting sick or dizzy, do you? You know, from the fruit or, you know, and then too, you know, that's a lot of sugar because fruit is, we're talking about natural sugar now. Can't, we're talking about sugar, you know, out the ground, sweet sugar. We're talking about real sugar. Mom, speaking of that, my mom used to eat dirt, red dirt clay. In Tennessee when she was a little girl. But that's another story. But they said it never made them sick. No 
no side effects or nothing. But see, what I never, what I, another reason why I wouldn't eat straight fruit like that, because you got to think about it now, you detoxing. So if you detoxing and fruit is a natural laxative, watermelons, prunes, all of that stuff, it ain't nothing but a big old laxative. And you eating all this fruit, what you think is happening? Your body is cleansing itself because the fruit is natural laxative juice that's sitting in juice. So things really start loosening up and coming out, you know, and things that you didn't even know was in there because you detoxing. So if you detoxing, that means detoxing like that. Every day, just straight fruit. Every day, straight fruit. That means you using that bathroom around the clock. And if you're not, you shouldn't be. You should be. And eating straight like that and detoxing, cleaning like that, after a while, now you got to think about it. It's 16 hours. Thank you. After a while, we, see, we all live here. After a while, these natural laxatives is going to start detoxing your body, stripping your body, sending you to the bathroom, releasing all these toxins. But after a while, all this going on every day, you got to think here. You're losing minerals and vitamins. You're losing magnesium. You're losing potassium. You're losing B12 because you're pooping it all out. So if you are a vegan, are you going back putting the vitamins in your body. And then even with that, with magnesium and, you know, whatever you're taking, your body, zinc, copper, your body have to be at certain levels of these things. And, and, and like food, you know, if you're on top of it, you know, you, of course you get it through your food. But if you lacking then there's only so much you can eat and it's still not going to give you for for example um what I learned from my doctor I was real real low on potassium so he gave me like four pills that could choke a horse and I said well dang can I eat bananas he said do you know how many bananas you would have to eat he was like and you still wouldn't reach that so what I'm going to do is, is give you these potassium pills, these big four potassium pills. I'm going to give you these and you start eating bananas. And then that way you keep your potassium up because you don't want to start having heart problems. You see what I'm saying? You still have to keep your body at certain levels of things, even to get the most maximum benefit out of life. Or close to it. That's why every blue moon, you know, I'll, I'll chunk, you know, an iron pill or, or vitamin C or vitamin D because I know these things are things that I'm supposed to be having and I know there's some vitamins that don't um, remake themselves which I'll probably do a video on that you know vitamins that you need to you know take actual vitamins for maybe I wonder if they don't have food for it you know but I just know you have to be you know on, on top of your game um but a lot of people I know, like I said, they said they didn't have a problem with being the veg, with being just eating, yeah, vegetarian, just eating strictly fruit. They said it made them feel good, but it made me feel hungry and somewhat weak because you got to think you're dealing with sugar now, and sugar can get dehydrating. Even when I was eating a lot of fruit like that, I, I was drinking water. My mouth was coming dry and numb, but like I said, everybody is different. But I'm just saying the fact that this lady was a YouTuber and she had followers and she's telling them that this stuff is working and this is happening and this and that and this and that, you know. But at one point, they did say she did beat the cancer, but it came back. So I don't know if that even had even, even anything to do with even anything, even though she liked the thought it did. Let's see what we can find here. How much meat 
and vegetables is a person's body designed to have? Let's see. Sorry, vegans. Here's how meat eating made us human. Let's see what this. Sorry, vegans. Here's how meat eating made us human. Science doesn't give a hoot about your politics. Think global warming is a hoax or vaccina vaccines are dangerous? Doesn't matter. You're wrong. Something similar is true, veganisms. Vegans are absolutely right when they say that a plant-based diet can be healthy and very exceeding sat satisfying and that not for nothing it spares animals from serial torment of being part of the human chain all good for so listen cut this I, I ain't finna get all in there why is it dangerous to be a vegan we'll do that as you read along you'll find out that most health conditions developed by vegans are related to vitamin b12 deficiency see didn't i tell you what you your body is supposed to have so much of everything see my and when it's not getting this stuff it's gonna run out in the toilet from all this fruit and you stripping you have to put these things back in vitamins if you moving them out like that without familiar source of vitamin b12 certain bodily functions can be disrupted leading to anemia gastric strokes Crohn's disease and celiac disease. What are the risks of being vegan? Hair loss, weak bones, muscles, wasting skin, rashes, hyperthyroidism, and anemia are other issues that we have observed for those strictly following a vegan diet. On the other hand, consuming excess excessive processed meats and or burned fatty meat can be also detrimental to a person's health. Is it safe to be completely vegan? Vegan diets can be a part of healthy lifestyle when planned and implemented correctly. Like eating plant to restrict specific food groups, vegan diets can come up in essential nutrients such as protein, calcium, iron, and B12. You see what I'm saying? You you need protein. You need you know, and you need stuff for your muscle mass, and you you need this and that. But you need the fruit to clean you. See, they go, they go hand in hand. Oh God, what is vegan face? Well, wait a minute. That's a YouTube video. We ain't gonna mess with that. What percent of human diet is meat? There are 649 calories per pound of meat. This means that the average American is eating 69,378.1 calories of the firm form of meat that adequates 5.04, y'all ain't good with numbers, percents of their diet. Should vegans go back to regular diets? Do most vegans go back to eating meat? Well, most people are more astute than I was at the age, but intense, in, interestingly, it is estimated that a staggering 84% of people who try vegan or vegetarian diets go back to eating meat. Five reasons why vegans go back, y'all hot. Five reasons why vegans fall off the wagon. Let me find these five reasons. Oh, I think I passed the five reasons up. Well, it talks about the lack of the, um, it talks about the lack of vitamins that we're missing. Okay, five reasons why vegans fall off the wagon one cravings what else on that two unwanted weight loss 
three health concerns. It always baffles me that no one really cares that much about nutrition when they are on a on a minivorous diet. We just assume that we get everything we need. Interestingly, the largest organization of food and nutrition professional, the Academy of Nutrition and Dietitian, and a number of other medical institutes state that all vegan diets are suitable for all. If you are if you are already healthy, you have a little to be concerned about, but you should keep that in check that you are getting adequate nutrition and eating very varied diets, which include mixture of vegetable and grains that applies to every vegan or otherwise. One nutrition vegan and meat eaters do struggle to get is, is B12, which comes from the earth. We can get some of this through meat either because the animals is artificially supplemented or is grass grass fed. Although even grass fed livestock can still be low on B12 as our top of soils reverse have been basically depleted. You can supplement daily, weekly or each serving of fortified food to ensure you're not being deficient. So so in the long run basically it was what I said before I open this, but like I said, I don't know. Are you vegan? Are you thinking about going vegan? What do you think about this YouTuber lady that was, and then she wanted her niece to take the video down that it cured her. She, I guess she, on her dying bed, she asked her to take the video down and the niece told her, I won't do it because it's a benefit in juicing. They did learn something about juicing. She said, I won't do it. Dang, I bet that smacked her. Man, she told her that on her deathbed. She, went, she asked her to remove the video because... She said the video that you know she was claiming all being a vegan did all this stuff and she died from what she said it healed her. So on the deathbed she asked her, I believe it was on the deathbed. Don't quote me, look, I ain't got no money, don't come after me. All right, but it sounds like that's kind of how it went. If not, that's how it went with me. And that's mean that's that means that's how it went. And she told her no because it was a benefit to juice, and which it is. And she just, the niece, because she shared the page with the niece, so the niece don't just uh, take it, you know. Juicing would have definitely been a benefit, but if, 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 come on, y'all, if, if, if straight vegetables and, and, and juicing, and if that's all it took, and people got gardens of fresh vegetables and people juice all the time, would nobody have cancer? I mean, we eating this stuff every day. Even before, you still mixed it in your diet or whatever. Wouldn't nobody have cancer? You know, sometimes you got to use your hair for more than a hat rack. Well, anywho. Matter of fact, I'm going to get in here and go take me some B12s. I'll talk to y'all later. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, are you a vegan? How long have you been a vegan? How do you feel about it? Have, have you got sick or ill? Because I know this. The people that I talked to said when they flipped over to vegan, that at first it made them sick. And then after they got over the sickness, they body adapted. Did yours do that? I don't know. What do you think about this whole vegan thing? Let's talk about it. Cougar's Closet.